Hey everybody, Bill Markham here, lead pastor of Central Community Church. And for those of you who were unable to make our live tour, we thought we'd do a virtual tour for you so you could see the future home of your church. So, we are currently standing on 13 acres of developed land. What that means is that we've been able to create a space for 750 parking spots. It's right on York Road, which is destined to become one of the busiest roads in Niagara. Of course, the outlet malls are right across the way. And the coolest part about this is we still have 10 acres of undeveloped land for future growth and expansion. Now, you can see around me a prefab steel structure. The reason we chose that was because it's the most cost effective and it was the easiest to assemble. And so you can see work is progressing. We have the structure up. We even have the roof on and some of the second stories starting to be built as I speak. So let me just take a few moments to talk to you about some of the cool things that are gonna be in this space. I'll talk about what's gonna happen on a Sunday and then also what's gonna happen during the week. So right over here is going to be our kitchen and our cafe. It's gonna be a state-of-the-art kitchen uh, with a pizza oven and the opportunity to provide all kinds of food options. The reason for that is that when you come on a Sunday, we wanna make sure that you have the great coffee experience that you have now in a welcoming and inviting space, but also to expand that so that during the week, every night of the week, we can have a meal for people. Whether you're coming to be a part of a group, to drop off kids, to be a part of the sporting things that are gonna be happening here, whatever it is, you can here come and have a meal and we also have a dream of creating something where no one has to ever eat alone. We wanna create a space that no matter who you are, you can come and there'll be someone to eat with you and talk with you. And so that's the importance of this area. Then right behind that, you can see there's an orange barricade right now. From that orange barricade all the way to the back and to that first beam is gonna be our secondary auditorium. It'll be able to accommodate about 500 people and it will be used for weddings, funerals, for banquets. On Sundays, it'll be used for our kids' ministry worship area and then also for a youth worship area. And then directly above that, there's gonna be a space for our youth room. And of course, we're dreaming of a space where there's ping pong tables, uh, pool tables, rock climbing, all that great stuff so that youth can come again every day of the week and be connected in meaningful relationship. Then you can see directly next to that on the other side of the beam is our kids' area. There's a couple cool things about this. That kids area will be able to accommodate 700 kids on a weekend experience, but also will convert into a daycare that can accommodate 100 kids throughout the week. There's also a, a single access point. This is probably the coolest feature about this. It's super safe. There's only one way in and out. So when the kids are in that space, each of their rooms have their own bathrooms. Of course, there's ways for them to get out if there's a fire or an emergency, but it keeps our kids safe. And then, Above that area, you'll see a second story. That's where our offices are gonna go and also where all of our rooms for groups um, are gonna happen. And so again, we're gonna have all kinds of activity and opportunity and then the community can use those spaces when the church is not using it. Now you say, well, how do I get there to the second floor? Well, right in the middle is gonna be our elevator. And so that'll give you access to the second story. We're also gonna have a staircase on either side of the building in the great big towers. So you can get there and then walkways that will traverse the lobby from one side to the other. Now, where I'm standing is in the lobby. And this lobby is going to be large enough to accommodate about a thousand people in a standing reception format. There's going to be glass on either side from floor to ceiling and then 12 huge skylights that are gonna go in. Again, we wanted our entrance to feel open and spacious and like you're outside. It's, gonna be a beautiful, beautiful space, like an atrium. Um, and so that's where we are standing currently. So now we're on the other side of the building. And of course I'm still in the lobby, but behind me you can see these orange markers. And that is going to be where our bathrooms and hallways into the auditorium and storage areas are gonna be. And so we built more than code for the washrooms because we don't want you to wait, that's very important. And we also built three access points for easy entrance and access into the auditorium. Above this area is gonna be our balcony where there are gonna be 300 seats. So between the auditorium, which will seat 1,500 on the floor and our balcony, we will be able to accommodate 1,800 adults. At our current ratio, that will mean we can also accommodate 700 kids. With that, we also have enough parking to accommodate 750 cars that will accommodate that 2,500 people. 
So our rationale was that if we did all of these things, we could double our current capacity. We could accommodate 5,000 people in two experiences, all in this space. And so this 80,000 square foot building was designed specifically with that in mind. Now, of course, behind me, you can see the auditorium. It'll be a state-of-the-art auditorium. You can kind of see the angle where our screens are gonna be. One of the coolest features about this for me is the loading dock that's at the very back. That means we can literally drive trucks up and load in for trade shows and rigging for concerts. And I could even drive a car in on Sunday, which I might do the very first week. But that is really a cool feature. And then that second level behind the stage is gonna be where all of our creative art department is gonna be. So we're gonna have our green rooms, we're gonna have our film rooms, our, our mixing rooms. All of that is gonna be there in offices as well. Now, during the week, this will also accommodate a gymnasium. This is kind of the coolest piece because many of you said, we need a gym. So we were able to do that in a cost-effective way by doubling it up. So behind me, this gym will be large enough to have two full basketball courts or four volleyball courts or eight badminton courts and pickleball courts or just be a really great dodgeball space. But this is why we built this space to be not only usable for our church family on Sunday, which will always get our priority, but also to create space for our community when we're not using it. Then above that in the second story will be our HVAC. We wanted it indoors because that'll keep it uh, safe uh, for uh, to be more effective and efficient and also storage space as well. And so I am standing not only in a building, but in a space where we had a dream. And I'm so proud of you for the courage that you have de demonstrated and displayed in this whole process. I know it's been a long journey, but we are really, really close. Right behind me is the main entrance into our auditorium where I just believe that hundreds and thousands of people's lives are gonna be impacted and changed because you, you took a risk you stepped out in faith and you believed in something bigger than yourself. And so now the dream is becoming a reality. And so I just wanna to talk to you about what it's gonna to take to make that reality complete and finished. The truth is that we've had a great capital campaign. Thanks to your generosity, we were able to raise about $7 million in pledges and most of that has been realized. We are closing the gap on that. We also were able to sell our building for about $4 million and so that helped close the gap as well. We're also partnering with our denomination to help us with a small mortgage to help carry the cost. But we are right on the precipice of the dream and we're just $2 million short. Now, I know that might seem like a really big number, but considering all that God has done and how far we've come, it's really, really close. I can feel it and I know you can too. And so maybe you're here and you say, how can I help? Well, we are in a campaign right now asking if you would consider giving $95 a month for 60 months. We did it that way, said it was attainable, achievable, and we can do it if we all do it together. If 350 of us decide to jump on this challenge, we can close that gap within the next month. And so I'm asking you to dream with me, to dream with us about what this space could be and will be, and help us close the gap to make that dream a reality. Together, we can do it.